<coughs> I think he was happy to do his comedy act, but he wasn't very funny. <laughs> and he started getting mad at me. I don't know why. But his singing was pretty good, and he was very brave. Talking about brave, every year I have to go and get my evaluation. That means I have to go into my manager's office and sit in a small leather chair, which my butt sticks to, and listen to her tell me that it will be her last year as a movie manager. I've been working here for over five years, and, well, she was the one that hired me, but I guess you've got to keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob, what an excruciating weekend I had. I had to go to the district theater manager convention in Vegas. I can't believe these district managers. <coughs> they think they know how to run a theater. They can't even run a meeting themselves. I'm iconoclast. This corporate kahuna had the nerve to bombard me with financial data about my box office receipts, daring to say that I'm not producing. Where did he get statistics like that? He can't even read a balance sheet. It doesn't take a Harvard MBA to read a balance sheet. I've been going to school all my life. I have a bachelor's degree in Aboriginal studies, a bachelor's degree in medieval literature, and a master's of vocal art from Juilliard. <laughs> These people at the meeting could not project their voices. For example, they were totally incoherent. I could not understand a word they were saying. As my voice teacher, Beverly Peck Johnson, would say, Masticate! Masticate! What these people at the meeting were doing was total mental masturbation. Miss <laughs> Johnson did not mean masturbate, masturbate. Mm -hmm. Try doing that, Carnegie Hall. <laughs> then they started calling me Kathy. Oh, I told them, it's not Kathy, it's Katerina, Katerina. But their tongues were so slow, they couldn't roll an R. <laughs> I wonder if there's ever been any studies correlating the rolling of a tongue with intelligence. My hypothesis, these clowns have the IQ of a cockroach. Although a cockroach wouldn't be as dense as this crowd. It's Katerina, Katerina. Then they started commenting on my work hours. Well, I will not be cowed by other people's opinions of my work hours. I work 24-7, 10 hours a day, I told them. <laughs> they all look at each other and go, oh yeah, uh, we forgot. But I won't be here for very long. This is just a stepping stone. I'm meant for bigger and better things. Well, finally the meeting was concluded. So I went to a bar off the Vegas Strip called the Helzitas. Hmm, what a seedy joint that was. But I needed a drink and I needed to unwind. I walked into the bar, sat down at the bar stool, and ordered a couple of apple martinis. Boy, were they watered down, but hmm, I needed them. I started relaxing and enjoying the music, when out of the corner of my eye, I see this typical Neanderthal man sitting beside me. Well, of course, I try to ignore him. After a minute, I get a tap on my shoulder. He asks me if I want to dance. Well, I didn't want to be rude, so I accepted his invite, invite but when I got off the bar stool, he came up to my chest. <laughs> I said to him, I didn't realize how short you were. <laughs> <laughs> he says to me, we're all the same size in bed. <laughs> I said, dream on. I love wearing my pumps too much to date a short man. <laughs> well, we went on the dance floor, and boy, could he dance. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, no, no. I know you want me. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, it takes my breath away just thinking about it. After the song was concluded, I thanked him because, well, I didn't want to be rude. I went back to the bar and ordered more martinis. At the end of the night, he asked me on a date. I said to him, I don't date people, I meet people. But well, I was so drunk. Oh. I end up fucking the little bastard. <laughs> 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 oh, Bob, um, thanks for coming in. As usual, you're doing a wonderful job. Uh, keep up the good work. Oh, you should think about going back to school, huh? After all, education is important. Well, goodbye now, Bob. <coughs> Katrina, you get a hundred points for holding the door open for me. <laughs> <laughs>